just stay away from animal fat. There's, there's a difference, and that's what I'm trying to make. Plant fat is different. That's what you really got to get. It, it, and keeping that in mind, then we can proceed. Okay? Now, what also? So we're looking at sugar, animal protein, and animal fat. Those are your big players. Not getting enough sleep is an issue. You aren't getting seven hours of sleep. Your blood sugar will go up. This research was done in Melbourne, Australia. Okay, toxic exposure, heavy metals, there's many things that go on, but those are your big three, okay? Sugar, that includes fructose, but not directly. Fructose doesn't directly raise your blood sugar. Indirectly, it uh, definitely is associated with more diabetes. And when they introduced fructose into the general diet in the 1980s, there was uh, literally a 90% increase in two years of diabetes. It just does it because it creates a, a disorganization of leptin insulin signaling and it creates fatty liver disease which disrupts liver function and how to handle things. So it does it indirectly not as directly. So don't think having lots of fructose is a way of getting around it. It isn't. Uh, the, the clear fructose Cancer, cell, can, cancer cells love glucose 10 times more than normal cells. Cancer cells love fructose 10 times more than they love glucose. You follow that? So fructose really feeds cancer cells. And that's why when, when Brian and I you know, were in the same position, just hold on the food issue while you're trying to cure cancer, okay? But there's really more to it. Uh, excess fructose is, is associated um, with much, much higher rates of diabetes, prediabetes, heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, kidney stones, gout, and general neurological degeneration. So it's just important to keep those in mind. So, oh, hey, I'm not having glucose. Fructose is fine. No, it isn't. Okay? in the level we're talking about. Not for diabetes, not for protecting against cancer. Fructose also does something else. It activates the glia cells in the brain 10 times more. Well, so what? Well, I'll tell you what, so what? When the glia cells are overactivated, we get brain inflammation. And we get neuronal degeneration and actually brain cells die. So that's not so good either. So the fructose, I'm saying, we're going to be hold on that. So basically, the body goes into a reset. This is the key. It creates a toxic metabolic memory. And it isn't just about blood sugar. It's a total hormonal picture. And the body goes into this epigenetic toxic memory. And the treatment of diabetes is turning off this toxic epigenetic memory. That's it. You know, it's a whole different concept. The lifestyle that we talk about, the life food, they all play major roles in turning off that toxic metabolic memory. It does include going organic. It does really in include the, initially the 100% live food, and um, meditating and breathing. I will be teaching breathing exercises tomorrow also. So it's all those things. And we just have to kind of see the big picture. It's got to turn off the degenerative, diabetes degenerative syndrome, the toxic metabolic memory. If we just get that one concept, you'll understand what it's about. So the metabolic memory, and that's for type 1 and type 2. And this is also, why I'm not here to talk about type 1, but 88% of type 1 diabetics, no matter what age, are producing some insulin. And the key to why we healed it, it took, again, it took me a while to figure this out, is that if we can lower the blood sugar by proper diet, it can match the 88% of the people producing insulin with type 1. And that's how we cure 21% cure of type 1 diabetics. We just take their sugar input down. 
and that's the key thing. Uh, and we turn off the inflammatory organ. So this is part of that famous movie. These people walked up to the top of the mountain. You see that mountain that was behind me when I was meditating? Uh, that's at 6,000 feet. And they, they could barely walk when they came in. Here they are at the end of the story. So, um, so I've talked about fructose, and we'll talk about soft drinks. But these are all the things that we're looking at that contribute. So for example, they did a study with men watching TV for uh, 19 hours a week. We'll have a 150% increase in rates of diabetes. We don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's also true for women. We did the study of men. But it's obviously not a lot of activity and probably eating a lot while you're watching TV. And we'll cover some of the other things. Uh, statin use uh, research varies from literally, uh, on the average, the study showing a 40 to 80 percent increase in diabetes with the use of statin. Some say 9 percent. There's some variables. We're going to, and vaccines for type 1 diabetes. What's that about? Well, vaccines, as you probably know, have a lot of antigens in them besides the you know, they have aluminum, they have this, they have that, and, and that's to stimulate the immune response. But what happens is the body gets confused and starts making antibodies against the beta cells of the pancreas, which produce, you know, insulin. So vaccines have been associated, uh, depending on the study, between 60 to 147 percent increase in type 1 diabetes, particularly if you get the like the MMR or something like that, before three months. So just kind of an overview of what that's about. Uh, that they literally, it's, the vaccine stimulate an autoimmune response, which is what type 1 diabetes is, whereas type 2 is a nutritional uh, uh, diet. Uh, lack of exercise plays a role. Uh, wheat, soy, they all have excitotoxins in them, or they have excitotoxins, and you have soy in the, in the grain brain type thing, which inflames the system. So all these chronic sources of inflammation, EMS, um, I think you're starting to hear about 5G, which um, I actually just did a 11-page paper on really explaining the 5G. I'm just going to... I have diabetics, and they call it type 3 diabetes, um, which is when they go into electromagnetic, higher electromagnetic field, their blood sugar shoots up. There are actually places in the United States where you can go that are low EMF fields. When we hit 5G, that's all gone. Uh, 5G is a really uh, huge toxin to your health, plus it at 5G and the 20,000 satellites that are planning to put up in a few years, we are talking about a disruption of the Schumann resonance and the global electric circuit. I'm just curious. How many people have ever heard of that? Okay, so the Schumann resonance and global electric circuit are what the whole planet is attuned to. Okay? Not just your pancreas and getting a rise in blood sugar. The earth, the animals, the insects, and of course the humans, are tuned to this freak, these two different frequencies. When that's thrown off of 5G, we get all kinds of health problems, which is exactly what we get. I'll just leave it like that, but it's a definite problem for people who, uh, who don't necessarily have diabetes, but they go into a field and their blood sugar shoot up. I've been seeing this for years, that 5G is going to really amplify that, so it's something to keep in mind. Maybe next year I'll talk about 5G. But uh, radiation is another thing. In Fukushima, 60% of the kids 12 and under developed type 2 diabetes who were living in Japan. Okay, that's pretty significant, to say the least. When they've done other radiation things with nuclear testing or Chernobyl, the average increase was 200% in the rate of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. I'm talking in Fukushima, I'm talking 60% of the population 
But in these other, you're doubling your rate of diabetes. So radiation is a, a real problem. We have some different ways to deal with that. Um, psychotropic drugs are another problem, and depression. Uh, within one year of a serious depression, depending on the study, 62 to 82, uh, there's a 62 to 82 percent increase in diabetes, in type 2 diabetes. So within one year of a severe depression, your whole diabetes thing gets up. So that gives you a little bit of an overview. It's, it's a little bit more complex. These are all the references because it's good to know. There, I'm, I'm making statements based on the, the literature.